Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss about the project sensor deployment and scheduling for target coverage problem in wireless sensor networks. Let me discuss about the abstract of the process. A wireless sensor network of spatially distributed autonomous sensors to monitor physical or environmental conditions such as temperature, sound, pressure, etc. and to cooperatively pass their data to the network a main location. Wireless sensor networks are known to be highly energy constrained and each network lifetime has been a strong dependence on the node's battery capacity. As such, the network lifetime has been critical concern in WSN research. While numerous energy efficient protocols have been proposed to prolong the network lifetime, various definitions of network lifetime have also been used for different scenarios and protocols. The lifetime of a sensor network is most commonly defined as the time to the first sensor node failure seemingly over fascinative in many investigated deployment scenarios in this project sensor deployment initially has been done randomly here heuristic artificial decolony deployment and particle swarm optimization deployment have been proposed with this algorithm can be able to deploy the sensor and compute the coverage matrix in order to get the maximum upper bound network lifetime Coverage matrix can be achieved by determining the monitoring of sensors. Finally, obtained sensor nodes are scheduled using a heuristic so as to achieve the theoretical upper bound of network lifetime. This method helps to prolong the network lifetime. A schedule for notification of a sensor rather than disable checking for the sensor altogether. In proposed system, two process has been performed. One is sensor deployment and sensor scheduling. In sensor deployment, three types of algorithms have been implemented, such as heuristic deployment, ABC deployment, and PSO deployment. In heuristic deployment, initially place the sensor randomly. If the sensor not monitor any target, then move that sensor to least monitor target. Place the sensor at the center of all target it covers in order to cover new target. Finally, calculate the sensor target cover average matrix for estimating the upper bound of network lifetime. In ABC algorithm, initialize the population solution which is based on the number of sensor nodes. With that population solution, evaluate the fitness function so as to achieve the new solution which is better than the old solution. Finally, updated the best solution for maximum cycle. In PSO algorithm, initialize particle size and calculate the fitness value for each particle. Find the best fitness value each particle that is called as local best. Based on the local best to determine the global best value finally update the velocity and the new position of the particles this process will be repeated for maximum iteration in, in sensor scheduling calculate the weight assessment which is assigned as a battery power for each sensor next cover formation has been computed based on the coverage requirement determine the cover set based on the satisfied coverage requirement prop let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process here random deployment strategies are estimated based on the heuristic deployment, ABC deployment and PSO deployment. In heuristic deployment, in this algorithm, initially place the sensor randomly. If any one sensor does not monitor any target means move that sensor to least monitor target location. Sensor node sorted in ascending order of the number of target it covers. Now place the each sensor node at the center of all target it covers while placing that sensor which should cover one new target then place that sensor at center and also compute the sensor target coverage matrix or else discard that move and place original position repeat this process until sensors covers new target and in the abc deployment the ant colony optimization algorithm is a probabilistic technique for solving computational problem which can be reduced to finding good parts through these graphs Social insect colonies can be considered as dynamical systems gathering information from environment and adjusting its behavior in accordance to it. While gathering information and adjacent processes, individual insects don't perform all the tasks because of their specialization. Generally, all social insect colonies behave according to their own division labors related to their morphology. Bee system consists of two essential components. If the nectar amount decreases, a low level or exhausted for going B or abundances of no food source and become on unemployed B. If there are still sufficient amount of nectar in the food source, it can continue to forage without sharing the 
input source information with the nest mates or it can go to the dance area to perform vagal dance for informing the nest mates about the some food source the probability values of these options highly related to the quality of the food source and in the pso deployment pso simulates the behaviors of bird flick suppose the following scenario a group of birds are randomly searching food in area area there are only one piece of food in the area being searched all the birds do not know where the food is but they know how far the food is in each iteration pso next in the PSO is initialized with a group of random particles and then searches is for optimum by updating generation in every iteration each particle is updated by following two best values first one is best solution it has achieved so far next in the sensor scheduling phase a heuristic sensor scheduling algorithm are proposed sensor scheduling in sensor scheduling weight assessment cover formation cover optimization cover activation and energy reduction these process are carried out this is the k coverage and q coverage maximum run time and priority sensor based on the initial battery power initially all sensor having same battery power as 100 units check the cover probability if exist or not if exist then calculate cover based on the priority in the cover formation algorithm stored sensor in descending order based on the weights when the battery power reaches e minimum the node becomes iterative and will not be able to monitor any more targets further as the battery power is drained when the node is turned on the weight assignment by the node to itself reduces the number of sensors deployed in the area is greater than the optimum number required to monitor the targets finally we achieve the maximum network lifetime and analyze is the network lifetime for among three methods if we discuss about the running procedure for our process select the main file dot m file in the current folder right click that file and run for executing this process this is the main window of the sensor deployment and scheduling here we need to enter the number of sensor nodes to be deployed here we need to mention the coverage area width and height and here we mention the target here we mention 25 as target here we need to estimate select the coverage area that is simple coverage second for k coverage third for q coverage here i select the simple coverage and by pressing the sensor deployment button here the sensors are deployed and by pressing the target deployment button here the targets are deployed randomly by pressing the random schedule algorithm we perform the sensor deployment and uh, sensor scheduling network lifetime for random random scheduling approach this will take some time for executing and here we obtain the network lifetime for random scheduling after that by pressing the heuristic deployment button we move on to the heuristic window by pressing the heuristic deployment button we deploy the sensor in a heuristic manner here the network lifetime for heuristic achieved and by pressing the heuristic scheduling we perform the heuristic scheduling operation operation here the battery power of the sensors are drained out based on the base battery power we estimate the heuristic scheduling and here we achieve the network lifetime of heuristic scheduling next by pressing the abc deployment button we perform the abc algorithm for deployment this is the deployment a for abc pressing the abc deployment button we perform the abc algorithm with maximum number of iteration here the sensors are deployed the target based on the abc approach and here the network lifetime are achieved by pressing the abc scheduling we perform the heuristic scheduling algorithm based on the abc sensor deployment this will take some time for executing after that we achieve the network lifetime for scheduling next in the pso deployment button by pressing the pso deployment button we perform the pso operation this is the main window for the pso deployment and scheduling by pressing the pso deployment we process the pso this is the particle movement operation every particle 
goes to the best value position and this is the PSO deployment the sensor deployment and target deployment based on the PSO algorithm and we achieve the network lifetime for upper bound of PSO is this and by pressing the PSO scheduling we perform the heuristic scheduling for PSO algorithm and here we obtain the network lifetime for scheduling and by pressing the analysis button we got the bar graph representation for random heuristic and ABC and PSO this is the network lifetime bar graph finally network lifetime extended by using this method of deploying at optimal location such that it achieves maximum theoretical upper bound then scheduling them so as to achieve the theoretical upper bound thank you